Hello everyone, Suzy Gaming here and welcome back to War Thunder. The new update has been released, it's quite a heavy one, above 30 gigabytes. Uh, if you select the full client and if you select the Ultra HQ, it will be a 90 gigabyte update. That is a lot. Anyway, so first vehicle that I'm going to review is obviously A10. I swapped it with the F105D, which is a perfect gas and supersonic, three times faster than the A10. As you can see, mixed loadout disappeared for some reason. Uh, however, they will be adding a customizable loadout. So you're going to be able to select uh, each slot by yourself one by one. They BR nerfed the A10 late to the 10.0 because it has a uh, better loadout. As you can see, four anti-air missiles. Let's try the premium one. Actually, first, I'm going to try it in the air realistic. I'm really curious, can I destroy, uh, like this plane have capability to to destroy all of the ground target the repair cost is 5400 and for the a10 late 11000 let's check it out here we have a bunch of ground targets right there let's see for how long i can survive before i get shot the a10 late went to 10.0 i cannot even imagine it in the 11.0 jet battle like if someone right now dives down i'm screwed there is nothing i can do Look how slow this plane is, it's like ridiculous. Head on me please. He's coming. Oh. And another make gets <laughs> smooth missile. That's the gameplay now realistic guys. My plane is really bad air to air wise, so I need you to escort me. Like, I'm gonna die instantly. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, it, my, my plane goes 600 kph, two times slower than any of the jet. Yeah, I'll just focus on ground targets if I can reach there in time, of course. When do you think the chat will come back? When the war is over. I'm chasing a plane way faster than me. With better guns, better turn rate, and when he looks, he will have me with his missiles. I'm dead. I'm super dead. I'm dead too. Yeah, it's the same plane that <laughs> killed you. It came out nowhere, like... Oh my god, did anyone see its nickname? Just popped next to me. It costs 900 to spawn with the missiles. Oh god. And how about just Mavericks? Still 900. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. I'll be using the default belt. Yeah, default belt is actually exactly the same. Only one less armor piercing round. Look at that new command, tank ally. I already feel like a really vulnerable target. Oh, oh god, no, 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 that's a proxy fuse A8, yeah. The worst thing that can happen to A10 is playing against M247, proxy fuse. Freaking mixed battles, I hate them so much.
Bud? Why it's always mixed battles? Oh. A 10 versus a 10 it is. Friendly fire, what? Ah! <laughs> How did that become friendly fire? <laughs> uh, now let's talk serious, guys. There is some planes in the game. I did this with F4U7 because it has uh, 114 rockets. Bad planes with heavy, precise loadouts that can kill multiple ground targets. These planes uh, can get to the first spot much easier than the best of the best uh, top tier jet fighters but it has a dirty gameplay so i use the same tactic that i used in f4u7 and this is the result what you need to do uh, th this depends on the match so pick your best buddies best fighter jet buddies to your squad and yeah this method could work even in every match so at the beginning you do not fly towards enemy you avoid the enemy like you're making a giant circle you're basically flanking the map then you're gonna look at the scoreboard two things gonna happen either enemy is gonna lose half of their players or your team if it's the enemy that loses half of the players stop flanking it is time for you to start flying towards the ground targets because in some maps objective is destroy ground targets a 10 has capability to do that just like f4u7 you basically starting destroying everything on the ground it gives a lot of xp so i guess this plane could be the best grinder if you do this dirty tactic now when you start to destroy ground targets of course enemy fighters are gonna notice as i said there's like uh, three four or maybe five of them left and you can use your anti-air missiles basically to finish them off because this plane uses best ground loadout and best anti-air loadout together so you have some chance to fight back when you do this you're gonna get a lot of silver lines you're gonna get a lot of uh, xp and research point of course this is not the way maybe you're not gonna have fun but uh, grinding is not a fun process now the second scenario what if half of your team dies what the hell are you gonna do nothing to do just head on with them or try to destroy the ground targets quickly switch to next match just removing this illusion that the plane is bad and air realistic it could be bad against air to air but not helpless and with this tactic you can actually farm and like at the beginning of the match hope that your team is actually good and in some of the maps when you destroy all of the ground targets you win the match actually so even if there is a space climbers in enemy team they have to engage you or they're gonna lose every main ground target you destroy melts the ticket of enemy team you're basically increasing the chance of victory somehow decreasing and increasing this is a weird plan guys as i said i did the score that means you can do it too and that's why i'm actually recommending this plane a to d1 can get the score but it takes too long a to d1 doesn't have enough weaponry to destroy all of the ground uh, forces or at least half of it in a first flight and obviously if you're out of bullets you don't have missiles enemy plane will just kill you but as you've seen in this match even though i was out of bullets i still had four aa missiles and if you have the premium a10 you have two so that's a chance to fight back so you guys that's it i'll see you in the next one peace out